That's a good one. Uh, 13 and scouts from 13 different NFL teams today. We've seen a lot of guys, you know, including you. What do you think you've done to really drive up your draft stock this year? Um, just consistently, to, you know, coming to work every day, um, and just having great teammates who are to who are able to, you know, help me feel confident whenever you know things are. You know, not going away. You know, they should. Um, Patty talked about earlier the one-man breakdowns, and I think, you know, the last few weeks we've been touching on, putting emphasis on, you know, just doing your job. So just with that mindset of just coming in every day, you know, going to work and, and just trying to win on every rep. How hard is it to improve both individually and as a team throughout a season when you start two and three, one and three yeah. last year, this year? I mean, do it, everyone says we work hard, we put our head down, but. <coughs> Frankly, 120 teams in the country For say sure. that. What's the difference, I guess, with you guys? I know these guys, you know, they're just persistent. We're just persistent. Guys are just always hungry to, you know, prove people or prove to the critics that, you know, we're able to compete with any team that, you know, steps on the field with us. And just the mindset, you know, that these guys, you know, preach, what Fitz preaches, I mean, I think guys are, you know, able to hone in on those t uh, specific, you know, concepts or whatever whatever the, the demands are for that week. And I think guys, you know, take it personal and, you know, are willing to come out and work every week. You notice, Coach Fitz was in here earlier and talked about just the depth growing throughout the season because you're a young team and yeah. having alternatives now and more people are playing the games. I mean, how have you noticed just <coughs> numbers 1 through 85 on the roster just kind of yeah. get with it more? For sure. Uh, just guys like Chris Bergen. I mean, you've got this, you guys have seen, you know, he's come in and he's just been a spark. Um, towards our defense, um, young guys like Cam Cam Ruiz, <clears throat> he's playing <clears throat> he's playing corner uh, on third downs and stuff like that. So he he just brings a, a different type of you know energy to the to the field at different uh, moments of the game. And I think you know with the younger guys stepping in, I think they're able to feed off us and to re rely on our experiences uh, to get the job done. Go ahead. Do you look more for the run? when there's a new quarterback in a situation like this? Mm, that's a great question. Um, spe specifically this game, um, Wisconsin is a heavy run team. Um, so I knew that they were going to pound it, pound it, and eventually take shots down the field whenever you know they needed to get the crowd you know, within the game and uh, kind of get that momentum. So we just knew that you know, for the secondary, we had to you know, always stay on our toes, not get too comfortable. Um, and I think we did that today. We came out and imposed our will. Um, Wisconsin didn't have any first downs by penalty uh, this game. Um, Northwestern has been great this year, and you've been great this year at avoiding having penalties. Um, is there something you're doing, like, to in practice to just play coverage uh, within the bounds of the rules? Because pretty much every play you made this game. Is yeah, um, we, we focus on techniques, um, different mechanic, you know, uh, things that helps us put us in the right position in order to make those plays. So I have to credit, you know, the coaching staff for, you know, preparing us each week and throughout, you know, each rep and, and even uh, in the weight room, just different things like working on our footwork or working on um, just kind of like doing press uh, situations. So I think, you know, with the coaches that we have right now, they're, they're been able to put us in the right position to make plays. So. Safe to assume you know all about Sheriff, Sheriff McManus. <sighs> for sure. You see some parallels? Uh, you and him. I haven't, he, I haven't. He came in very lightly recruited. Yeah, I mean, I talked to the guy a couple of times. You know, a very hardworking guy. Uh, yeah. Guys, who's, you know, he's dedicated his time, you know, playing corner, playing special teams with the Bears. And I watched, you know, a couple of films of him, you know, as a Northwestern Wildcat. But the guy just, he works hard. He's he's never, you know, inconsistent. Maybe he gives up a, a ball, but the, the next time the ball is thrown, like he's, he's in the right position to make a play. So, just that mentality, you know, having role models like, you know, Sherrick, you know, means a lot to me. Um, you know, it tells me or shows me that I can, you know, be in his shoes one day or I can, you know, look up to him in different situations. So. I already saw somebody wearing a beat Notre Dame mm. button oh. outside the locker room after the game from the fans. You ready for the hype? And it's going to be a big buzz this week for that game. For sure. Um, I think guys are, you know, they know what's at stake. I think guys know it's a, it's a pretty big game. But for ourselves, we just got to take it one day at a time, whether that's practice e practicing each and every day next week, 
you know, going through our studies. Um, and I think, you know, at the end of the day, uh, whatever said and done, um, that'll be it. All right, thank you, everyone.